Hello everyone. How are you? It's been a while since our last video. We were not able to make any videos for the past few months due to the hectic schedule. Nevertheless, we hope that you are doing well and are always safe. While we are away, we thought of how we can serve our subscribers better. We thought of making videos with basic information about fish and fisheries, especially for those who just started to appreciate these lovely creatures and industry. In this episode, we will be talking about the national fish of the Philippines, the milkfish. But before we continue, please hit the subscribe button if you like this kind of content so that you will get updated. Also, at the end of this video, we will ask a question and we will select three lucky winners to receive a 50 peso gush load. You must comment on your answer in the answer box. Are you ready to learn? Let's start. Milkfish, scientifically known as Chanos Chanos, is the sole living species in the family Shanidae. Its taxonomic classification includes the following. Kingdom, Animalia. Phylum, Chordata. Class, Actinopteri. Order, Gonorhynchiformis. Family, Shanidae. Genus, Chanos. Species, Chanos Chanos. The repeating scientific name came from the Greek word Chanos, which means mouth opened. It was first described in 1775 supposedly by Forskull, although he was already dead when the species description was published by Niebuhr. Later, the species description was credited to Fabricius, who compiled the description of the species. The holotype was collected by Forskull from the Red Sea in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. We will discuss the taxonomic history of milkfish in a separate video. Milkfish was placed first under the genus Mugil, which was thought to be related to the mullets. However, further examinations revealed that the milkfish is not related to the mullets, and the genus Chanos was created to accommodate the milkfish. This fish can grow up to 180 centimeters, but become mature at 86 centimeters. The maximum published weight was 14 kilograms and can live up to 15 years. Milkfish is known to have between 196 and 208 spines throughout its body. 86 to 88 spines are found in the dorsal part. There are 26 to 28 rib bones, 40 to 44 lateral spines, and 44 to 48 ventral spines. It is a tropical species and distributed along the continental shelves and around islands of the Indo-Pacific region, from the Red Sea in South Africa, to Hawaii and the Marquesas, north to Japan, and South Victoria in Australia. In the Eastern Pacific, this species is found from San Pedro, California, to the Galapagos Islands. Milkfish is a Urihaline species inhabiting both the marine, freshwater, and brackish water environments with depths of up to 30 meters. Adult milkfish are found in offshore marine waters and shallow coastal embayments, but also frequently enter estuaries and occasionally penetrate freshwater streams. They occur in small to large schools near the coasts or around islands, where reefs are well developed. Their eggs and larvae are pelagic for up to two to three weeks, while older larvae migrate onshore and settle in coastal wetlands, such as mangroves and estuaries, during the juvenile stage or occasionally enter freshwater lakes. Juveniles and sub-adults return to the sea where they become sexually mature, and adults spawn only in marine water. Milkfish larvae consume zooplankton, while juveniles and adults eat cyanobacteria, soft algae, small benthic invertebrates, and even pelagic fish eggs and larvae. Larvae are collected from estuaries and are grown in culture ponds into juveniles which are marketed fresh, smoked, canned, or frozen. Due to the advancement in hatchery technologies, brood stocks can now be raised and spawned in captivity to produce larvae in the hatchery. Milkfish farming started about four to six centuries ago in Indonesia, Taiwan, and the Philippines. The culture methods in a variety of enclosures are constantly being improved upon. Since the 1970s, large investments have been made in the Philippines, as well as in Taiwan, Indonesia, and Hawaii, in terms of infrastructure, research, and training, in support to the milkfish industry. For example, the Southeast Asian Fisheries Development Center, or CIFDEC Aquaculture Department, 
was established in Iloilo, Philippines in 1973 with a special remit to find solutions for milkfish aquaculture problems. Government agencies and fisheries institutions were also involved in a national effort to intensify milkfish farming from the mid-1970s until today. In these works, research and development on farming systems, breeding and fry production technologies were carried out. There was no attempt at genetic improvement, but fry translocation and trade occurred between Indonesia, Taiwan and the Philippines, and geographic variations and heterogeneity were documented. Recently, unconfirmed reports indicate that milkfish are now being cultured to fingerling or juvenile size in the South Pacific Islands and in Singapore as tuna bait. Milkfish farming was previously a traditional industry, with little emphasis on producing sexually mature, reproductively active fish in captivity. The traditional milkfish industry depended totally on an annual restocking of farm ponds with fingerlings reared from wild-caught fry. As a result, the industry suffered from regional, seasonal, and annual variations in fry availability and milkfish production. These variations are generally unpredictable and may be quite large over short periods of time. Thus, the central problem faced by the international milkfish industry was to find a way to produce a reliable, adequate, and high-quality supply of milkfish fry that is not subject to large, unpredictable variations in time and space. Instead of relying on wild-caught fry, milkfish farms in the Philippines, Taiwan and Indonesia now obtain the majority of their fry from hatcheries, mainly due to the significant shortage of wild-caught fry. The three major producers of milkfish in the world are Taiwan, Indonesia, and the Philippines. In the Philippines, milkfish is among the top 10 species in terms of production volume and value in 2021. In fact, milkfish is a top three commodity in terms of fisheries production. These production volume and value increased by 6.7% and 18% respectively, compared to the 2020 production. Combining both the inland fisheries and aquaculture, the top three milkfish producing regions are the Ilocos region, Western Visayas, and Central Luzon. On the other hand, Pangasinan, Capas, and Zambales are the top milkfish producing provinces in the country. More than half of the production volume, or 59%, come from brackish water environment, while marine and freshwater environments contributed to 28% and 13%, respectively. Although milkfish is known for numerous spines throughout its body, many people considered milkfish their favorite. Some people like it stewed or sinigang, poxy, which is cooked in vinegar, garlic and salt, fried or prito, relino, which is stuffed with minced milkfish meat, carrots, potato, raisins, pickles and spices, or marinated or la mayong milkfish. Among the cuisines made from milkfish, what is your most favorite? Can you comment your answer in the comment section? That's it for today's video. We hope you learned something about milkfish, the unofficial national fish of the Philippines. We also hope to see you in our next video. Keep safe fishmates.